So, still hunting for... I guess we need one of the mine uh, ones now. The... Um, the... For an escalation. Because we can't do the shielded base and we can't do the capital drone hive. With any of the ships I've got, those are going to take uh, capital ships. And so the mine maybe won't. That's what I'm hoping. I don't know what the truth is, but I want to go, you know, I want to get one and we'll see whether or not we can do it. He's red boxing me before I. Preferably, I want them red boxing me. Looks like maybe they're not going to. All right. There they go. Okay. Get that started. Good. It's choosing the next uh, tower. It's okay that my shields are uh, beeping there. He's an armor ship. This guy is still working on this site. With two of my guys here, maybe I can get one of those mines today? That's what I'm hoping. Don't know if that's possible, but that's what I'm hoping. Might be the last wave for this guy. Now, if we wanted to try and make some money, we could switch over to horde uh, sites, drone horde sites. They would take longer to do, but they will pay much better. These just have more chance of escalation.
So in the 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 new site, yeah, two of them are capital, which I would love to be doing them, but at least one of them looks like it takes a super cap. I wonder if that one that has the shields, wonder how far they can shoot. Like, could I bring in a meme fit that'll, that'll shoot at like 300 on a battleship? I have a Roke that'll shoot at 300 and I have uh, another fit that's a Bargus that'll shoot at 300. They're, they're not super high DPS, but, um, you know, if the stuff can't shoot out that far, then I could just, once I get distance, I'd be, I'd be pretty good. Starbase got nerfed today. Well, it hits like a truck. That's for sure. I didn't see what the nerf was on it, but... It certainly hit me hard. So that's just this guy who's armor based. He's okay. Sounds like a dread. Get Welcome it done now. To the dragons. Well, maybe. G underscore cut three just followed. There's, there's issue though with, um, with. The newt pressure that it has has really high newt pressure. J code. Welcome to the dragons. All right. Oh, and what just followed? And Zitswat. Hmm. Is that really how you intended it to be pronounced? All right, so I've been uh, seeing what Dolly thinks you guys. Uh, Twitch avatars look like. Oh. <laughs> Thank Welcome you for the raid. To the dragons. Yes. Wolf Smacks just followed. All right. Wolf Smacks. Welcome to the dragons. And the underscore T Man Thirteen T -Man. just followed. And uh, yeah, Yolo Gaming. Thank you for the raid. So uh, we were just doing. Ooh, man, that's a good one. We we're just doing some images up of uh, new followers, and uh, or subs. That one's really good. That's for uh, Zitswat. Posting them into Discord, if anybody wants to save them. And so, um, uh, Nyolo Gaming, thanks again. And uh, Wolf Smacks, we'll, uh, we'll do you up here. And we'll see while it's doing that. This guy, 
See if there's any loot here. Nope, not really. Okay. So he did okay on this. Um, did, uh, for not, for not having any sort of shield rep for being speed tanked. All right. Wolf smacks. That one looks pretty good too. That's what Dolly thinks you look like. And then, um, who else? Uh, T-Man. Let's see what it thinks you look like. All right. This guy, he's got a couple here that are not, um, they're not gaining the aggro. Um, let's see here. New streaming room? No, I just, uh, I used to, I used to face those windows. I turned things around so that I could be in the path of my AC, my mini split. I was getting overheated being over next to those windows. So changed it up a little bit and it's looking okay. It's actually, it's actually um, not looking too bad. So I was afraid that it was gonna wash me out really bad, but it seems to be kind of doing okay. So yeah. All right, and let's see here. Wow, that is uh, the T Man. That that is gorgeous. That's really cool. Oh yeah, new glasses. Yeah, it helps me see better too. Uh, T Man, that is in our Discord. Exclamation point Discord. Dragons. Quick, just followed. Quick tech, thank you for the follow. Let's have it have Dolly do you up to see what it says. And um, so uh, shrimp, uh, so if you're not a follower, then follow. If you're currently a follower, then we will, uh, in between when I'm recording YouTube episodes, we'll do a few. And, um, or uh, we're doing subs as well. And uh, trying to kind of do it equally it's it's hard to do without that taking over the entire show so quick tech look at that you look smart i think there's a lot of ai going on there i'll post that one up into uh discord as well all right do i know a web page where you can learn faction war update well i mean uh, patch notes? I'm you not I'm not sure. Rock. Omega 23 Gamma just subscribed. Oh, Omega Gamma. All right. So, let's uh thank you for the sub first of all. And 1000 gold to everybody here in your honor. So thank you, thank you. And then let's see what uh Dolly thinks of you here. These ones are turning out really good now. So, yeah, we'll come back and look in a second. We've gotten two escalations this morning. The, the number of escalations I'm getting off of these sites is a lot. It's a lot higher than what I expected. Maybe they have it just amped up for the moment because it's new, or maybe this is the numbers they intend. I don't know. I've not seen a rogue drone hive. I've only seen the new ones. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, all right, let's see here. Now oh, there's another one. This is a similar theme. So this is, uh, so Omega Gamma, all right. There we go. And uh, I'm going to prompt it fresh because I think that it's uh, starting to follow a, a vein there. So, and that one's up in Discord if you like it and want a copy of it. 
Wait, this... Is this the last... Is this the last um, one here? I don't know. Say, though, that these don't pay really high. See the bounties on these? They are not very high at all. I think we're going to do Horde next. Horde will take longer, less chance of an escalation. But I want that money. I've made 21 million this morning. That's it off of running these on a ship that cost me 80 million. That's not good economics. That's not good math for how long he's been out here. Or she, female character. Um, the hive, yes, the hive is the one I know I can do in a marauder. The only one we haven't gotten yet is a mine. M I N E. And uh, so we got the we got the shielded station one or whatever, and that one's too much. So uh, that one that one neutered me out in about five seconds. Somebody else said they took a marauder in and it neutered them out in about twenty seconds. That's pretty extreme newt pressure. Uh, and that's it landing. So, okay, we got, we got more here. So, all right, let's, let's go over to this guy. Let's, let's start uh, seeing if we can do some hordes. Um, I mean, this, this, this one is built for, oh, first, we're going to the sun. And we are going to uh, do the little trick of hopping out for the aggro stuff. All right, hop out here. This is a brand new ship, so you want to get the the um, aggro off. And I, I don't know why this works, but it does. Uh, somebody gave me an explanation one day that sounded pretty legit, and I don't even remember what it is, though. All right, we're going to take this into a horde. This is built for the the um, squads. But we're going to take this into a horde and see how it fares. I don't know if it if it'll do well enough in a horde. I question it, but it'll make a lot more money. So we should be able to get nearly the cost of the ship and doing one one site. Oh, this might be this this is actually potentially going to be rough. I don't know about this. I'm not sure that this is going to have enough uh, oomph to withstand this. We'll see here once they start shooting me. Problem is, I get kind of close to these guys doing a orbit of twenty on this kind of site. All right, well, let's see what happens. So far, so good. But if I start getting webbed and stuff, oh, that might be really bad. Oh, they're attacking my, my drones. Well, I took measures to keep that from happening. 
about that? They are shooting them anyway. Right, I need them to be all red boxing me. One left here. Problem is they're pretty far away. Yeah, I think that this 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 might be too weak of a ship to do this site. It just might be. But okay, we'll go after the one that's uh yellow boxing me first. And I'm watching to see if they start if they start flipping over to yellow boxing me again, then I just gotta pull them in. This is not gonna work in this site. Right, so far so good. We've got all the frigates taken care of. The frigates are the most dangerous to my drones right off the bat. Now I'll just let them choose their target. Yeah, I did see something about the new sites having more focus on drones. Uh, but this is not one of the new sites. This is one of the sites that can escalate to one of uh, the new escalations. But I think that the new sites that they're referring to are the ones that can be spawned by the Sov Hub um, or by the Skyhook. Uh, I think that's what they were referring to. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Welcome to the Dragons. Bayan just followed. Bayan, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh, so did I um, did I go back to that other one? Yes, we went to that station one that the shield needed to be taken off of. And um, yeah, it, it's going to require a capital ship. Definitely going to require a capital ship. So um, not something I'm going to be able to do. Uh-oh. We got, we got uh, more spawn here. See what happens. They might chew up my drones. They're still yellow boxing me, but they're not, my drones are not taking any damage yet. Bionny, I'm going to take a look just a second here to see what Dolly thinks you look like on Twitch. It's actually uh, pretty interesting. Look at that. That's what Dolly thinks you, you look like on Twitch. I'll put that up in our Discord. All right, my shields are getting peeled off a little bit here. So this could be an issue. I'm, my shields are going down, they're 63%. This, this fit is a speed tank. It seems to do fine in the squads. In a horde here though, I think it's struggling a little bit. Trying to just let it pick its own targets. Um, it's not doing the greatest job. It's got some smaller stuff that's hitting it a little bit. The drones were never known to be smart. Nor the pilots for the drones. Of the starlit night. Mark 
lucky dragon's got a pitiful plight. He named his drone from Billy to Sue, but he leaves them behind. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, Marky. Why'd you leave them all alone? Your drones are drifting in the cosmic zone. You hit warp speed and away you flew. I am concerned about my shield. Drones behind. Oh, Marky Boo Hoo. Lost in space like tears in the rain. Marky's heart ache is a pilot's pain. He warps off fast, forgets his crew. Like a cowboy's horse without a shoe. Why'd you leave them all alone? Guess we kill more, the pressure will reduce, but could cause more to spawn if I hit a trigger. Zone. You hit warp speed and away you flew. Left your drones behind. Oh, Marky Boo Hoo. In the tavern, they all shake their heads. Marky's drones lost their signals dead. He's like a cowboy who lost his ride. All Keeps taking out these big ones. Every time he's tried. Forty-one percent on the shields. That could very well be a trigger now, right there. Trying to let them make their own choices, even if they're bad. His coffee's gone warm, things look grim. Which one's the trigger? It's probably one of the battleships. He's learning lessons hard and true. Hopes 30, 33% shield. Oh my goodness. All right, we are getting down to the wire here. Why'd you leave them all alone? Your drones are drifting in the cosmic zone. You hit warp speed and away you flew. Left your drones behind, oh Marky Boo Hoo. Yeah, that wasn't the trigger. Whew. My shields are awful low, though. So if you spot drones adrift, think of Marky's tail. Don't let your own fleet stray in this cosmic gale. Beat up? I'm going full speed. Scoop them up, keep them close. Great advice. Show them the light. Oh, that was a trigger. Hold on tight right. to your drones. Make their future. There's, there's no way. There's no way. I think that, uh, I think that this is going to be too much. Let's get my drones back. We're going to switch ships. Yep. Too much, too much, too much. You're going to transport a 300 billion S contract copy? Something important? I don't know.
This guy's doing good. take over that site if it's the same one I don't know it depends on what's inside the contract if you look at it and it says it's worth 300 billion then you got a problem Actually, you don't. You just steal it. Sell it. Alright, this is the same spot. This was the hardest song for me to do. Alright. He's fine on, on his rapping with this. This one will do it fine. He is into armor, but he's maintaining just fine. Holy Amar, typo negative. <laughs> You know, the explosions are more intense now. You see this little bit of jitter on the show. Um, it... Let me see if that's translating out on Twitch that way. Yeah, a little bit. The graphics update in EVE, it looks really great on my end. I notice it's got a little bit of a uh, jitter here. And uh, I think there's just a lot more data there. We had a problem this morning with uh, my GPU getting overloaded on the stream machine from exploding some stuff. And um, and what's funny is that the GPU on the stream machine is not even the one processing or that's, you know, the show in the game and it's just processing that data and sending it out. So I think that um, I'm probably gonna have to make a change to, to my um, setup here to support EVE a little bit better because the, the explosions are more intense 
wonder if I can do this on the fly here. Probably won't let me. No, it won't let me. It, so we'll have to do it. Uh, I'll have to do it after the show. So, yeah. All right. So this guy in the uh, Vexer Navy issue is handling the site okay. The Vexer, uh, it was struggling. It was struggling. So in the Vexor Navy issue, I'll have to do about three of these sites in order to cover the cost of it. Which you kind of want to, you know, not have to, um, not have to spend that much, right? You want to keep your costs down because, especially if you're running multiple of these, what happens when you're not paying close enough attention and a hostile comes in and tackles you? You want to, if you're going to lose a ship, you want to lose a cheap ship. Not uh, not something that's really expensive, so. But the I don't think the at least the the Vexer that I was um, running I don't think it'd be okay. We can take a look at the other Vexer here. This one, so that one would be that one we were in would be fine for the squads, and then there's this one. This one does have an armor rep. Maybe it'd do okay. But you see, it has less DPS, so it'll take even longer to do the site. And how long do we want to wait? It's all a balance. It's all uh, an absolutely a balance. But let's take it out to one of the sites. Let's see how well this one works. Somebody earlier was saying they really liked this skin. Well, here it is right here. Now this one I think is also speed tank. And um, yeah, it is speed tank with an armor wrap and it's cap stable. Now I can't, um, I can't go into the site that my other guy's in because what happens is that if you bring two ships in there, then the aggro doesn't stay proper on the ships and it, and it has a really high chance of the aggro going over to your drones. And uh, so I found that I lose drones a hell of a lot easier when I have two ships in there. Because you think, well, I'll just take multiple ships in there. Well, it doesn't quite work out well enough that way. Oh, there's a lot of little stuff in here. Let's get more red boxing on me. What? Scramming me? All right. He's shouting at me, shoot me first. So I shall oblige and shoot him first. Take out all this small stuff first.
I'm gonna have it switch over to the other small one first. And then it can choose whatever it wants. This guy here, we're on the last. Last ship. See this in the orbit, you bump things sometimes. Close, didn't bump anything. Close though. Huh, none of those are, there we go. I'm like, are they not gonna aggro me? Now, if I hit a trigger right away, could get a little iffy. I think though that this can handle it. So, and this is a cheap Vexer. This is the fit called DKFA Low. Uh, it's actually about 35 million with the drones in it. So it's not super high DPS, but it can do the job. And uh, both of these are armor ships, so we don't have to worry about that shield alarm. And Ishtar, clear this out faster. But cost of this ship makes it very expendable. Command link sheet, yeah, exclamation point schedule. And then there's a tab for the level four missions that links to my fits, if that's what you're looking for, or if you're just looking for all my fits, exclamation point fits. That'll link you straight to EWB. Now, if I had a paladin out here, I can clear one of these horde sites in 11 to 12 minutes, which is very nice. Um, but Welcome you got a lot to the dragons. Player 70 just followed. You got even more value on the field. Player 70, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the dragons. Temporal look. look just followed. So, 
people follow or sub or resub. Been uh, seeing what uh, Dolly thinks you look like. And here's what Dolly thinks that player 70 looks like. All right. Put that up into uh, Discord. And then Temporal Luke. Fire it off for you too. Back to that in a minute. Oh, that one was the trigger. Okay. Well, there's no frigates. The drones will probably be okay. Oh my goodness. Temporal Luke. Look at that awesomeness. You are like full on motherfucking time traveler. That one is really awesome. Really awesome. I really like that. All right. That one is going up in a Discord as well. Live show chat, exclamation point Discord. So, yeah, that one is, that one is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. Yep, so you can grab a copy of that. It's up uh, in our Discord, exclamation point Discord. And then the live show chats where I've been posting them. Who's that based on? The guy that said so cool right above you? <laughs> yeah, Temporal Luke. Yeah, that one, that one was stupendous. Stupendous. All right, this one finally got down where his shields are getting peeled off. He's got an armor rep. It's not as hot. His armor rep is not as good as the other guy, but I think he'll do okay. We'll find out. Um, so, uh, spazology, um, yes, everybody wants it, um, and yeah, it looks like you're currently a follower. Uh, I gotta figure out how to better do this so that it doesn't end up being, oh my god, did I really just hit another trigger? So that it doesn't end up being that. Um... Yeah, it looks like I did. Let's see how it does keeping up with the armor wrap. So in between sections in the show, I've been doing like three of the current followers. I'm a little concerned about, about the amount of DPS coming in. Seems to be holding up okay. I do not know which, you know, I don't have targeted the drone that um, my guys are fighting at the moment because I ran out of target slots. I seem to be doing okay though.
Um, I just hope they don't hit another trigger. Because it's already a bit of pressure out here. It could get nasty if they hit another trigger. Welcome to the dragons. Big Banana Chief just followed. Oh my god, I can't imagine what Big Banana Chief's gonna look like. such great bananas <laughs> oh my god that is so awesome that's big banana chief what dolly thinks big banana chief looks like that is amazing i'll put that one up in discord as well that one is freaking hilarious my what great bananas you have <laughs> have balls of steel <gasps> my god just subscribe Rieslon, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, hope you're doing well. Let's uh, let's do one for Rieslon. Oh man, that one is epic. You have a broken arm. Did you do that fishing? Well, I know that this is, doesn't look anything like Rieselon in real life. My, 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 Rieselon, you are beautiful. <laughs> That's what Dolly thinks you look like. Yes. And no broken arm there. But you do have a broken finger, though. Look at that. Yep. You did it fishing. Wow. Um, slip and fall, or, uh... Imagine the boat deck could get s quite slick at times. Anyway, I posted that up in Discord if you want the the image. That one, that one though, it probably you doesn't hit home rock. for you. Roy, to just subscribe Roy. for ten months. Very nice, very nice, Roy. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna ask Dolly what you look like too. All right, we'll look at that in just a minute. Fell over, uh, fell over on the deck in a storm. Yeah, yeah. So, is your fishing fleet doing okay though? That's dangerous work you do. Really, you know, dangerous stuff. Wow. Wow, look at Roy Edwin there. Isn't that great? And it put Twitch down here at the bottom. All right, Roy, I'm posting that one up to uh, Discord as well. Very regal and um, purple is, uh, purple is the uh, royal colors, so. Yeah, that's cool.
So I'm surprised that the tank is actually holding up on this. It's actually doing okay. This ship is a 35 to 40 million disc ship. Oh, you're not back yet. You're still on the ship. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Well, hopefully you got a good crew taking care of things. What ship is this? This is a Vexer. I'm doing a Haven with a Vexer. This is the um, DKFA Low, which is a fit that I have on EWB. Just look at my Vexor fits. This one is not very expensive. It's not the fastest at clearing these sites, but it's doing okay. And if you happen to, you know, doing one of these sites will get you 90% of the cost of this ship in bounties. So you do two of them and you're ahead of the game. And, um, you know, then if you get ganked, because you're not paying close enough attention to when hostiles come into system or something, then, uh, you know, your losses are pretty low. So, uh, I was discussing adding Doge to uh, our store when it was worthless. Could have been richer than Musk. Yeah, so... I had, I had uh, like 27 million doge at one point or something like that. Um, and I ended up selling it off at a profit. Um, but before all the other madness started with it and it went way up, I, I could have had a lot of money. You know, but you don't know those things. So... You know, I don't dwell on the choices that I've made too much. So, because I didn't make a bad choice, it's just that if I had waited, there was such a better choice available, but who knew? And I sold all my Doge for, I don't know, it was like, 1200 bucks or something like that and I had about 200 bucks into it so I mean I did well I just uh, you know it could have been worth 20 or 30,000 <laughs> but you just don't know those things it's just like I have a hard drive here that has about 5 bitcoin on it but can't remember, you know, the, the, the drive, um, you know, it's encrypted on the drive and everything. I don't remember the keys or nothing and stuff, and I've not been able to access it. But I have about five Bitcoin sitting on a hard drive, an old hard drive. And, you know, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, I had... I had in the millions in Doge. That's how much I had uh, of the coins. They were worth one hundredth of one cent or something like that. So, so it was like twenty-seven million to be worth like you know two hundred seventy bucks or something like that. But then, but then they went up. So, I sold it when it went up. Anyway, I I have this Bitcoin, and um, but. 
haven't been able to break it. And I've held on to the hard drive because maybe one day, maybe when we have quantum computers, you know, mainstream or whatever, and, and I can use quantum to, um, uh, you know, a, a quantum computer to, to break into my Bitcoin vault, then I'll have a little something. And maybe they'll be worth 100,000 each by then or something. And that'd be awesome. Oh, look at my armor. Hmm. I'm getting tagged a little bit here. So that's worth 3.8 million now. Oh, I didn't even know it was worth that much now. See, I quit looking. When it went way up after I, after I sold it, I quit looking. Why torture myself that way? Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, it. I know it's worth a lot more now, but you just don't know that. And you know, it's okay. So. Let me put it this way too. Back in the Ultima Online days, we had, um, and in the WoW days, I worked with someone called, named Brock Pierce, who um, he was in an he was an actor. Uh, he was in multiple movies, you know, Mighty Ducks and some other Sinbad and and some other stuff. He was a child actor, but this was after he had done those movies, and. Um, and, you know, we worked with him with, um, doing some stuff for WoW and for, um, for some other games and everything. And we were making good money at it. Um, and that was around the time that he bought into Bitcoin. He bought a shit ton of Bitcoin at like, um, you know, a penny each or whatnot. And now... Uh, his investment was so good that he's a billionaire. And uh, he's also now chairman of the board of Bitcoin. And last presidential election here in the United States, he actually ran for president. And he got a respectable, like, 3% of the vote, which for an independent is really respectable. Um, so... Um, I don't know if it was actually 3%, but I remember hearing the number on the votes that he got, and I thought, wow, that actually is a very respectable number for somebody who's not mainstream. And, um, you know, had I, you know, been talking to him more back then or whatnot, and, you know, had he encouraged me to buy some Bitcoin as well, that would have been awesome. I think he just bought it on a whim. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, held on to it and, uh, believed in the idea of the technology. So, um, you know, but these are all choices we make. And as you get older, you'll find that there's more and more choices you could have made that could have been so much better, but you don't know those things. So why dwell on it? You know? Just, um, um, just leave it at that. There's a uh, Texas company that specializes in Bitcoin drives for people. Yeah, I'll just hold on to mine. And I, literally um, five to 10 years from now, we will have quantum computers available to us, uh, most likely in our homes. Quantum computing is going to be a jump of a million times in processing power. Uh, it's the, the jump is going to be just so enormous. And, uh, once, once we have, you know, access to quantum computing, uh, stuff like access to the Bitcoin will be easy. Although it may also render Bitcoin with no value at the same time. Uh, but you know, what, what do we say? You know, how do we, um, you know, what choices do we make? We don't have a time machine. So, you know, you always, or at least me, I look at it and go, you know what? If I went back in time, it'd be like, you know, what, um, what could, you know, what could I know about the future that I could use to my advantage? It's always fun to watch movies like that, you know? Um, but who knows, you know? 
All right, so that guy finished a uh, horde site and I know that the payout's gonna be a lot better. So there, that was an 8 million isk tick. And there'll be another one that'll probably be just as good. So I have not paid off the cost of this ship yet. So yeah, I, I, don't, uh, I don't dwell on what I could have done. Not too much. I mean, if you, if you make a decision and then you realize it was wrong like instantly, well, maybe you have a chance to change it and do something different. You know, if it was selling, you know, Bitcoin and then it goes 10 times more valuable the next day, well, obviously you already sold it, you can't get it back. But if it's in some other decision like taking a new job or, um, you know, quitting your current job or you, or you just took a job and then, and then the next day you get an offer and it's 10 times more and you can't pass it up, you can change your mind. It really sucks for the people that you accepted the job for, um, but for you, you can change your mind, make a change. So that's just kind of how I look at it. Um, the federal government uh, has most of the 30,000 Bitcoin from um, Silk Road. Yeah, actually, I think they sold it all now. I think it went up for auction and they sold it all. So, yeah, I don't think they have any of that left. I think I saw something about that. Let's um, take out these two. Let's take out the easier stuff. They aren't shooting at me. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. You just got a nine million isk tick in a vexer. You just got one quarter of the value of ship in 20 minutes. It's like 30 million per hour, extremely bad money. Not when you're flying a ship that, that um, is so cheap. If you're taking out a dread and you got 5 billion tied up in a ship and you're putting that at risk and you're making 30 million an hour, then you are wasting your time. So, Oh, the final countdown. All right, so uh, spazology. Yeah, I don't don't anybody give any spoilers or whatnot. But the final countdown was made in 1979 or 1980, and uh, it is absolutely one of my favorite movies of all time. The final countdown, and it's an old movie by today's standards. It looks old. But that absolutely is one of my favorite movies. And it is about, it is about time travel. And, um, and now I'm going to have to go watch it again. <laughs> now that you mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got another... Another uh, wave here. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, we will see you in the next episode.